complex. <sighs> Thailand, you're here in Thailand. <clears throat> Got a full course, full nutty, bro. Full nutty, full nutty, full nutty. Let's do a back shot. Get fat, all the gains. Full nutty, bro. Full nutty. One of the secrets to fitness is having fucking fun. Don't take yourself too seriously, but take being consistent in fitness over the decades. Take that seriously, but don't take yourself too seriously on a daily basis or moment to basis. All right? You want to have fun with fitness. That's the fucking bottom line secret of fitness: is make it fucking fun. When you make something fun, you take care of motivation straight up. So. I read people all the time, they're like, Harley, I'm, I'm not getting the results like you and Freely. And I'm like, how long have you been doing this lifestyle for? You don't even own a bicycle? You hardly ride the bike you do own? Or, or you whatever? I'm just thinking like, how does that happen? Like, the people miss that big connection that it takes time on anything to be good at something. You want to learn to play the piano? Most 99% of people play the piano Good. They've been doing it longer than fucking 10 years or longer. And people go, oh, I'm inspired, I see the piano, and they do a few lessons, and they're like, oh, I'm not, that, I'm not like that good, so I'll quit. I'm not getting so lean, so I'll do something else. I'll do a water fast, or I'll cut my calories, or do something else, or, you know, just, I'm like, I understand the frustration, but you got to understand that you didn't get here today in a day. It's taken you years and years of good things or bad things to get where you are today. If you're obese watching this, it didn't take you a fucking six months to get obese. It took you a long time. If you're fit as fuck, it took you a long time to get there as well. So, I agree that it, people just, just in this mindset of like, I want it now, like the iPhone 6. I've got to have my iPhone 6 now, and I've got to stand in line for 48 hours to get it first before someone else gets it. Just wait a fucking another day, and you don't have to wait a line up, man. People say, how long did you wait to get your iPhone 6? I walked straight in the fucking door, because there wasn't a line up, because it was the next day or two days, whatever. People are just like freaking out that they don't look like freely or as lean as me or whatever in a few months or whatever, and they're just trying to push, push, push. I encourage, we encourage, and we appreciate the passion, but understand it's like growing mango trees. You can't fucking rush it. What you have to do is provide the environment for those mango trees to flourish. You have to provide the environment for yourself to flourish. You have to have the bicycle, man. I've got to go get some mangoes in a minute. I've got two fucking options. I can burn fat. Or I can burn oil. I can get on the train and go to the shop and get them. Or I can get on my bike to do it. People say, Darren, you don't need to burn more fat. You're already really lean. Where's the fat on your body? But I have to move my body. So I, I limit my exercise so I don't burn too much fat and get too lean. But I do enough sport to keep the blood flowing. We need to move our body. The endothelium cell, cell endothelium cells, that's how Viagra works. Increases nitric oxide in the blood. Increases blood flow. That's what you need to do, is you need to move your body. So if you're really, really lean, cut your cardio down. If you've got some weight you want to shift, bring your cardio up. Nothing crazy. I don't recommend running marathons. Marathon running is like really hard on the body. You have to be a very seasoned runner to be a marathoner. Even I can't be a, a really good marathoner because I don't have the base. You know, I didn't... You know, cycling though, everyone can ride a bike because it's low impact. Anyone can ride a bike to the store, but only an elite runner can really run to the store and run back and still function the rest of the day and walk probably the next day. So I'm saying you need to have the bike and you need to go to bed early. People are up online, I'll see when they're going to bed. 2 a.m., 12 a.m., 3 a.m. or whatever. I want to get lean. We aren't going to get fucking lean and have a healthy mitochondrial efficiency if you're going to bed late consistently. I have a late night now and then when I'm traveling, but when it comes to really solid foundations, 8, 9 p.m., that's what you want to be doing. So you just got to like do the right things, but have the patience. This is like learning breakdancing or, or 
piano, whatever. It's, you, when you're healing your metabolic damage from your previous lifestyles of water fasting, juice fasting, phentamine pills, calorie restricting, even if you weren't aware you're calorie restricting, you're like, oh, I'm just not hungry, I ate too much or whatever, you're calorie restricted. The body doesn't care if you've mentally done it or not. It happens, so it's going to repair itself. So get the bike, get the carbs in, and build your community around you. Work hard. Carb up more and do more. You, you, you can't eat less and get results, man. <laughs> How the fuck are you going to have the energy to move your body if you don't have the muscle glycogen to push yourself to new levels? How the fuck is that going to work? I don't care what drugs you're on, you will not get the results without the muscle glycogen. Look what happened to Lance Armstrong when he went out of sugars. Boom! His fitness dropped in the Tour de France back in 2000. You can't push yourself mentally and physically if you don't have enough carbs in the tank. So get your sleep, water, sugar, and get your results. But the results are in the posts. You can't be keep going to letterbox and going, where's the FedEx van? Where's the FedEx van? You're going to carry on with your life, and that FedEx van will knock on the door one day and go, hey, here's your package. You'll be like, cool, it's here. But in the meantime, you get on with life. Stop trying to take shortcuts. Consistency is key. 10 grams of carbs per kilo of body weight per day as a baseline. If you weigh 400 kilos, of course you can't physically eat that much, but do your best. Pack it in, pack it in, and live hard. Be a better lover, be a better mother, be a better father, be a better brother, be a better sister, be a better boss, be a better employee. Be a better person in community by carving the fuck up and getting out there and getting shit done.